Hey, what's up, guys? This question is from Jane Doe in Manhattan, and she writes, Dear Keely, I'm now 20 years old. I met my dad for the first time 10 years ago. Months after meeting him, he was incarcerated yet again. Three years later, he writes me, letting me know he was in for rape, in which he claims innocence yet pled guilty. Before knowing the seriousness of his claim, I wanted to get to know him because it seems we had so much in common. Yet afterwards, I wanted nothing to do with him. If guilty, he committed this crime when I was about four years old. Long story short, he is going to be released within a week and lives very close to me, about 10 minutes on foot. And though we haven't spoken, he's the type to just pop up out of the blue. I'm wondering if I should continue on with my life and not pay him any mind, or if I should hear him out and let him into my life. Well, uh, I want you to know, first of all, that you're not alone. One in 40 children have a parent who's incarcerated. So this question is something that goes through millions of children in America's minds. You're 20, you're not a child, but those are the statistics. Um, because of your age, you are the only person that can really make the decision on whether or not you want a relationship with your father. I mean, it's your choice, you're grown. Uh, but if I were you, I would probably keep my guard up because it's better to be safe than sorry and he hasn't really been there for you. But if he wanted to make up for the years that he wasn't around and not in your life, I would give him a chance. I mean, at the end of the day, he's your father. He's your family. And I feel like if you screwed up your life so bad and you hit rock bottom and went to jail, you would expect that your family would be there to help you pick up the pieces. Uh, if you want more information on this and you need support, go to prisonersfamilies.org. They have great resources on how to deal with your specific problem. Okay? I hope all is well.